Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video consists of me doing first impressions on a lot of products, especially since um, I've been working at Sephora. I get a lot of opportunities with my gratis bag and getting new products and trying new things. So um, I've been collecting a lot of makeup and stuff and I have honestly, I haven't used any of these. So this is the first impressions and I hope you guys enjoy it. Keep watching. Okay, so I already did my eyebrows off camera and I used this Drunk Elephant Moisturizer and so far I would say that it's really nice but I've had to wait like a week or so to uh, really know how it feels on my face. So I use this. And next we're gonna use the Laura Mercier um, primer. I also got this in gratis. I have not used it yet. I've heard a lot about it and I know I'm old to this trend but this is my first time using it, so I'm just going to apply some to my fingertips. I don't like using too much. But I don't want to waste. So, ooh. I'm so soft. That one is the hydrating one. I know there's a... There's also a different one, but that one's the hydrating version. It's definitely hydrating like it says, because... My face feels really soft and super moist. I've heard a lot about it and I've never used it personally, but I really like it. Usually I use the professional one and I like how that one um, makes like how my face looks when I use foundation. So we'll see how this primer makes my face look when I use foundation. So I already went ahead and carved my eyebrows and uh, primed my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape. And now I'm gonna use this Anastasia Beverly Hills um, a brow gel and um, I usually I used to use the elf uh, brow gel but then I decided to get a higher end one and I obviously never used it so we're just gonna go ahead I like how the brush is thin and usually brow gels make like your eyebrows really stiff but this one so far doesn't. Like when you move your eyebrows, sometimes it makes it really stiff. I think a little bit goes a long way with using it. I mean, you don't want to use too much. But so far, I liked it. We'll see throughout the video how my eyebrows feel. Next, we're gonna do the eyes. So we're gonna use the Huda Beauty uh, Moi Obsessions palette. And first, I'm gonna use the white to um, to set my to set my eyelids. I'm also doing a first impressions on these Sephora brushes that I got. Um, there, it's like a holiday collection, and I thought they were really nice and they were really cheap, so I got them. So we're gonna start with the white to prep. Next, we're gonna use um, the brown shade right here for um, the outer corners. So I forgot to press record, but what I was saying was that um, I put this color um, on top of my transition color and I blended it all around, but so far I really like the the how pigmented they are because they're very blendable and they're super easy to work with like I can just blend it around in like a minute and it looks good so next we're gonna grab the darker color right here and we're gonna pad it we're gonna place it like right here right here and we're just gonna like blend it into the lid and all around I like this palette because it's super like easy to create one like mauvey look. I I'm, I'm more of like a like a mauvey brown tone um, girl. I'm not really good with really dark colors. And I don't like too light colors. I feel like these type of colors um, look good on me specifically. So I really I chose this palette for that reason. But these colors are super nice to work with. So, 
Next, we're gonna grab the darkest color right here. And we're gonna put it um, like on the lid and we're gonna like smoke it out all around. Wow, this looks super pretty. These are all really nice colors to work with. And the palette even has some glitters. So it's like, this is like the perfect on the go little palette. You can create such a pretty look with the mattes and the glitters. So now that we use a dark color, we're just gonna go back with the brown transition shade and we're gonna blend it, work it around here and blend it so the red doesn't look so harsh. And the mirror is really nice too. Like it's small, but it's so clear, especially if you have good lighting. So easy. Like I could do this in the car. So then I'm gonna grab this makeup wipe that I already used and I'm just gonna clean under and just make. Okay, then I'm just gonna go back with the white shade and just put it under my eyebrows. And again, I'm using this Sephora brush and they're really soft. So now that I'm done with one eye, I'm just gonna do my other eye off camera and then um, I'll be back to do the rest. So now that I've done my eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do my foundation. And I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus in Bronze Beige. And I'm going to be using my Pro Foundation uh, Sephora brush in number 47. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and try it. So it's supposedly full coverage. So we'll see. When we apply it. I like the spatula on it because it makes it really easy. And I don't have to put it on my hand. I hate putting foundation on my hand because then it's dirty and sometimes I forget to wash my hand. And then it's with me all night. The spatula is really cold too and I know that's good for your face. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and use my brush. Okay, so after applying it, it smells like really bad, but I can compare it to my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. It's it's really nice, like it's not, I have like a combination like dry skin, and when I wear like um, matte foundations, my skin looks really dry obviously. And I was scared this one's gonna be matte, but it's not, it's really dewy, but it, the only bad thing I can say is that it smells really bad. But the coverage, I like. It's full coverage, supposedly, and I don't need full coverage, but it's definitely uh, buildable. And I like how it looks. It doesn't look streaky or anything. I use the brush. I don't really like beauty blenders, but I think it looks nice. Um, in the bottle, it says, "Help Goodbye Photo Flashback helps eliminate white particle reflection and... It's a, it doesn't, actually it doesn't even say it's, well so far I give this foundation a 10 out of 10 on my face and it was only $6 at CVS. So I, I would definitely go back and use it. We'll see how it uh, wears with like the concealer and throughout the video. So next I'm going to go ahead and use the Tarte Shape Tape. This isn't a, really a first impressions on the product because I've used it before. I just had a really light shade so then I went ahead and bought um, a shade that was my actual color because the other one I used for brightening under my eye. Then I got one that's my actual color, so I haven't used it yet. So we'll see how it looks. And I really love this foundation because it's super full coverage and a little bit goes a long way. Like honestly, if it were like a summer day and I didn't want to wear foundation, I would just put this concealer and it would look like I have foundation. 
And I actually heard that this concealer has like vitamin E. So like when you put it on top of your pimples or something like that, it uh, obviously it reduces the redness and it helps them go away. So that's a plus. Because I hate when I wear like concealers and then it makes like throughout the day I feel my pimple growing because of the product like the product like sinking into the pores. So now I'm gonna go ahead with the brush and just blend it out. I used to use um, blending, like beauty blenders, but then when I started working at Sephora, I was introduced to this brush, and pretty much you just kind of like do this like motion, and it blends it so well. And I like it more than beauty blenders because the brush is thirty, like thirty, thirty-five dollars, but you can wash it multiple times, and you can pretty much have it forever. But beauty blenders, you have to replace every month, and the beauty blender itself is like twenty dollars. So it saves you a lot. And it does, this brush doesn't leave a streak, which is what I love. So now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and use the Laura Mercier um, setting powder. And I also got this in gratis. So to apply my um, setting powder, I use this Real Techniques Beauty Blender. It's the only uh, reason I have one. And I usually use the Kat Von D uh, setting powder, which I love, it's my favorite, but I've heard a lot about this one too. So let's go ahead and see. It's, it's just like the Kat Von D one, honestly. And I actually think the Kat Von D one's cheaper by like $2. <laughs> this one's like 32, I think. And the Kat Von D one is $30. This literally, this is just like the Kat Von D one. Okay, so while we let that bake, we're, I'm gonna do uh, my bronzer. We're gonna use this bronzer by Lisa, Lisa Frank, I believe. Yeah, Lisa Frank. I got this in my Ipsy bag and it looks kind of, the packaging looks like it's like one of those Barbie ones from like CVS, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use this um, Sephora brush, this angled one. For the bronzer these brushes are really soft like better than the more you want to oh. like it's not dramatic it's like very subtle and the brush makes it a lot better to use because the brush is so soft so it makes the bronzer look super smooth. I don't know if it's the brush or the bronzer, but I really like it. Maybe the foundation is making it look nice, so I guess everything's coming together. But I'm gonna do the other side with um with my other brush just to see like the difference, like if it's the brush or if it's the bronzer that makes that. It looks really nice. Okay, so on this side, I think I like this side better with the Sephora brush. I don't know what it is, but it looks like, like it looks very, um, what's the word? Like my cheeks look cut. Like this one, you can tell like the, how dense it is, I feel like. Does that make sense? And then on this side, it's a lot more blended. And I don't know, I just... I like this side better. This side looks a little more like muddy. This one looks a little more smooth and like blended out, very natural. This side just looks like muddy and like all over the place. Let's try a little more. No, let's try again with the other brush. Yeah, see, like you can tell that it's more dense. But the bronzer itself, I really like. Like, this looks super cheap, but like the product is really nice and it was in my Ipsy bag. So this is this is a bronzer that I would rebuy so far that I'm liking. But, except for that. So now that we're done with my bronzer, we're just gonna, I'm gonna brush off the the setting powder and I'm going to use this Morphe brush 
And I don't like to swipe it off. I like to pat it in because when you swipe it off, there's it's like there's no point in you putting it because you're just swiping off the product. But when you pat in the, the setting powder, it sets and locks the concealer. So now that we did my bronzer, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do my highlight. And this is the Sleek Makeup Palette. I used one of the creams, but I haven't used the, the, the white lighter one there. So on one side, I'm gonna use my Sephora brush that I love, and then the other side, I'm gonna use the Morphe brush that I used to use, but I don't like that much anymore ever since I started using the other one. So I'm just gonna use my fingertips and just um, put grab a little bit. I'm just gonna pat it on, slip it on. So I'm gonna use a Sephora brush. And I'm gonna grab this uh, pink highlight right here. So the highlight's very subtle. I thought it was gonna be, well the palette's only $15, so it's obviously not gonna be something blinding. But, so I'm just gonna keep applying. I'm gonna bring it a little more here. So right now I can't tell, but maybe if I turn my face, it'll be blending. So this is the Sephora brush, I'm just gonna bring it all around here. Oh wait, that looks really pretty. But I definitely like the highlight, because when I turn, it's definitely blinding. Like you can see it. Um, this should apply it to the nose. So I went ahead and applied this glitter. Um, glitter is glitter. I feel like it's like the same glitter that I've used, like the other um, brands of glitter that I've used. But I really like it because I feel like it tied the look together. It went from like just like a pink eye to like more glam where I can wear at night and uh, I mean it's just glitter I got it for my birthday my friend gave it to me and I really like it and then I just went ahead and uh, smoked out my under eyes with this with the Huda Beauty palette um, with the dark and the light color and next we're gonna do my lashes so I'm just gonna curl my lashes so now that I've done my eyes I'm gonna go ahead and use this Dior mascara that I also got for gratis at Sephora and when I was learning about the mascara um, she told me that there's this little handle right here and you uh, you pump once for like a light impact, you pump two times for a medium impact, and then you pump three times for like, um, a, like a full impact to make it more dramatic. Um, so I'm gonna do three, so one, two, three. And I've never, honestly, I've never used high-end mascara. I've always used like the Maybelline Rocket mascara or like the Too Faced um, Better Than Sex mascara, but I've never used like Dior mascara. So we're gonna see if there's like a difference, really. A lot of product does come out on the brush, so you kind of have to work it out because some, like, as you can see, like the lashes can get a little clumped. So I think it looks really pretty. It it easily like separated my lashes. It didn't just like I didn't have to work it out too much. But now that we've did the mascara, we're gonna do the lashes, and I'm going to use these Ardell Mega Volume lashes. Um, the lashes I've only ever used are Morphe and Ardell. Ardell is my favorite because they're five dollars and they always have sales. But um, and you can like use them a lot of times. Like I've used them up to like five times. You just have to take good care of them and like pick off the glue after you use them. So we're gonna use these. So I went ahead and put the lashes on, and honestly, for five dollars, they're really nice. Like they're super spidery, super glamorous, super dramatic. And if you're somebody who doesn't want to spend like $20, $25 on lashes, the, I would definitely recommend these because they're $5. And you can use them five times. You can't use them like 15, 20 times like the other uh, more expensive lashes. But if you're just going to go out and you've never worn lashes before, um, I would definitely recommend these. Honestly, I buy the Ardell lashes all the time and I use them a lot. and They look really nice and super glamorous. So I would definitely recommend these. So next, I'm gonna do um, my lips, and this is the Wet n Wild Lip Liquid Catsuit in 
Rebel Rose. And I've heard a lot about these. I feel like they're the, the dupes for like Jeffree Star's um, liquid lipsticks, but um, we'll see. So the color is like this really pretty nude pink and it definitely ties into the pink that I have in my eyes. So we're gonna go ahead and apply it. So I went ahead and put the lipstick on and I really like it, not just the color but the formula. It was really easy to put on. I had to dunk it in like a couple times but I'd rather be able to have to like put it in a billion times and have more control over it than just like getting a bunch of like um, liquid, a bunch of product and putting it all over my lip and like going crazy. Um, it's The brush is really easy to apply to, like it's really small so you, I was able to get into the edges and um, like work with it all around but overall um, I like the lip and overall I really am loving the foundation like throughout the video I was you know maybe like I won't like it applying like other products like seeing how I was gonna work with the product but my skin looks so dewy and like you can't even see like my pores I don't know if it's my skin or anything but I really like it I really like how the bronzer applied especially with the Sephora brush rather than the Morphe brush that I had um, like I said, it looked like really cheap packaging, but it was really nice. And the lashes, I love. They're super glamorous. The glitter, like, I'm in love with the whole look. And honestly, there's no product here that I can say that I didn't like. The final step is uh, setting my whole face. So I have the I have the MAC Fix Plus in the full size is the regular one, but my friend gave me the Rose Mini one for Christmas. So let's see like how it smells and how different it is than the original one. Mm. Ooh, this one's really nice. It smells just like the Mari Badescu one, but funny thing is that I rarely use my MAC Flix Plus. I like to use the Mari Badescu Rose Water because it's good for your acne and it's just a lot more refreshing. Um, the spritz is, oh, is super intense, but I mean, I would. This is like in the middle between the Mac Fix Plus and the Rose. I use the Rose more because, like I said, the benefits. Were. So overall, um, I liked how everything was. My favorite products were the foundation. It was literally only six dollars at CVS. And the funny thing is, I bought this and the um, Wet n Wild for like fifteen dollars, and then I got six dollar credit. So then I got something else for free. Um, but the foundation is really good. Like my, you can't even see my pores. It's it's comparable to my Nars Sheer's Glow. It's very dewy. It's not matte and there's nothing bad I can say about it. So I'll definitely use this a lot um, more and recommend it to people. And the other product I really liked was the bronzer. Like I said, it looked like really cheap packaging and there's no mirror, but like this is such an easy bronzer to just like throw in on the go. It blended really well. It looks really nice with my complexion and I really like it. This is kind of like, um, I'll compare this one to my Too Faced uh, cho uh, Chocolate Soleil bronzer, which is my favorite. And the last thing, Actually, second to last are the brushes. I literally got these brushes for like $20. It's like four um, of like double-sided. So these are like like travel on the go and it came with like a case. So it was really nice. The brushes are really soft, really dense, and it was uh, really easy to work with. So I'll definitely be using this when I travel and stuff like that. And the last thing are the lashes. Like I don't like to spend too much on lashes because you know, they're kind of, you just throw them away after a couple of uses. So like I said, Ardell is a really good brand to use. It's like, they have very natural and they have the very glamorous ones like this one, which I really love. But overall, I love everything. I love how the glitter made my eyes look and it tied everything together. And yeah, this is my first impressions on um, all these products. So thank you for watching. Um, New Year, I'm gonna be uh, doing like more videos and stuff. I know last year I was slacking a lot. I'm sorry, I'm really bad at like being really consistent with things, but I'm gonna try and be more consistent because I really enjoy doing these videos, but I suck and I'm gonna try a lot harder. But overall, thank you for watching so much. And for those of you who are subscribed already, please don't subscribe because I'm not that consistent. But yeah, thank you.